All right, we have a math expression here that we have to solve and get one value at the end. And following the order of operations, we have to do what's inside the parentheses first. But sometimes you might have more than one thing inside parentheses, and in this case, we have multiplication and division. Now, when you have multiplication and division in your problem, you must go from left to right. So first, we're going to figure out what 8.25 times 4 is. Now, I can do this piece right here mentally. I already know that 8.25 times 4 is going to result in 33. But just to make sure, I'm going to go off to the side here and multiply those values together. So we're going to start with 8.25 and multiply that by 4. And remember, when multiplying a number with a decimal by a number without a decimal, you do not have to line up any decimal points. That is just when you add and subtract decimals. Next, we're going to take 4 times 5, which is 20. So we write a 0 here and carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. So we put a 0 and carry the 1. 4 times 8 is 32, plus that 1 is 33. Now, if you have a decimal in the problem, then you must have one in your answer. And in the problem, we have exactly two place values after the decimal, which means we must also have two numbers after the decimal in the answer. So we must place our decimal right here. And because both values are zeros after the decimal, we can get rid of those zeros and just express our answer as 33. Now, after writing the answer to the part you do first in your expression, you have to bring everything else down from the previous step that you did not touch yet. So let's bring down the parentheses. Let's bring down the division sign. Let's bring down the 3.3. Let's close the parentheses and bring down our exponent and then the division sign and 2 and 5 tenths. All right, now we still have something to do inside the parentheses, which is 33 divided by 3.3. So let's take 33 and divide that by 3 and 3 tenths and see what we come up with. Now remember, if you have a decimal in the outside number of your division problem, or a decimal inside the divisor, you have to put one in this inside number at the very end, and then put a zero after that decimal. Next, you have to take your decimal point and move it all the way to the right. And because we had to jump over one place value to get to the end of that number, we have to do the same thing with this decimal right here. So let's move it one space to the right and then we move it directly above. So now we're dealing with the number 33. Now 33 cannot fit inside 3, so we are not allowed to write anything on top of that 3, but 33 goes inside 33 exactly one time, and 1 times 33 is 33, and that would leave us with nothing left over. However, notice we still have a place value here that is blank, sitting between this number 1 and this decimal. And we are not allowed to leave that blank, so we must put a zero there, which would give us a value of 10. So 33 divided by 3.3 .3 is equal to 10. Now we have to take this 10 and raise it to the second power. And after that, we're going to end up dividing that answer by 2 and 5 tenths. 10 to the second power is equal to 100. Now make sure that you do not multiply the base times the exponent. That would give you 20. You should never multiply a base times its exponent. The exponent just tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. And 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Now we have to take 100 and divide that by 2.5. So let's take 100 and divide that by 2.5. Because we have a decimal in our divisor, we have to add one at the end of the dividend. Next, we add a zero after that decimal. Now we move this decimal all the way to the end, which would require us to move over one place value. So we do the same on the inside. So we jump over this place value, and then we move it directly above. And then we start our division. So we're going to divide 25 into 1,000. So we cannot write anything above this 1 because 25 does not fit inside 1. 25 does not fit inside 10, but 25 does fit inside 100 exactly four times. And four times 25 is equal to 100. The difference between 100 and 100, of course, is zero. 
that we bring down our next digit, which is a 0. And 25 does not fit into 0, so we just state that it fits in 0 times. So we came up with our answer. The answer to this expression is 40. So in this problem, we have a number sitting outside of parentheses. And whenever you see a number sitting outside of parentheses with no sign directly after it, it just indicates multiplication. So we're going to multiply 5 by whatever answer we come up with from inside the parentheses. So looking inside parentheses, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 signs. So we have to figure which one of these four signs we have to do first. Now remember, you always have to do all multiplication or division before you even touch addition or subtraction. And we only have one multiplication symbol inside here. So we have to start with 4.2 times 2. Now when you are multiplying something by 2, you're really just doubling that number. So we can double the 4 and double the point 2, and that would give us 8.4. So that step was just mental math. Next, we bring down everything that we did not touch in the previous step. So we bring down our addition sign, the 5, the minus 2.1. And we write parentheses here. And before this 4.2, we got to bring down our subtraction sign, the 9.3, the parentheses, and the number 5. Now, when you have just subtraction and addition in your problem, you must perform the operations from left to right. So we have to start with 9.3 minus 8.4. So let's go to the side here and take 9.3 and subtract from it 8.4. Now remember, when subtracting numbers with decimals, the decimal point must be lined up. Now we cannot take 4 away from 3 because 3 is too small, so we have to turn 3 into 13 and borrow one hole from the 9, which is an 8. We bring down our decimal point, And 13 take away 4 is equal to 9. And 8 take away 8 is 0. So 9.3 minus 8.4 is equal to 0 0.9. But we still have to add 5 to that. And then we have to subtract 2.1 from that. And we have to get one number from those numbers, and take that result and multiply that by 5. Next, we have to take 0 0.9 and add 5 to that. Now, that should be mental math. Um, I can look at that and tell that that's going to be 5.9, because you're really just adding 5 holes to 0 holes, and 5 plus 0 is 5. And there's no tenths in this problem, so it's like having 0 tenths added to 9 tenths, which is 9 tenths. But some people need to visually write that out just to see it. So we would write 5 as 5.0 and add to that 0 0.9. And then we would just drop the decimal straight down, add this column, which is 9, and add this column, which is 5. Next, we have to take 5.9 and subtract from it 2.1. And whatever answer that is, we are going to multiply that by 5. Now at this point, we can just perform a little bit of mental math. So let's just take 5 and subtract 2, which is 3, and then write the decimal, and then take 9, take away 1, or I really should say 9 tenths, take away 1 tenth, which would be 8 tenths. And now we can multiply that by 5. So let's just go off to the side here and multiply 3 and 8 tenths by 5 and see what we come up with. 5 times 8 is 40, so we put a 0 here and carry the 4. 5 times 3 is equal to 15, plus 4 more is 19. And because we have a decimal in the problem, we need one somewhere in the answer. Now after this decimal, we have just one place value, so the same must hold true for the answer. So we go to the end of our problem, and then we jump over one place value, write our decimal, and we can see that our answer is 19.0, which is the same thing as 19. And that is the answer to this expression.